YouTube, which it's looking. No, no. See, it, I hate their back end, bro. I hate it so it, much. It didn't work. No, well, it said like it, your live stream just finished, and it's like, bro, I just started it. So we're live right now. I just have to go find that live video that says we're live. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. Uh huh. Yeah. So what's Are up, everybody? Go? How y'all doing? It says we're what's, live now. What's good, you two? Oh, well, I try to pull this up. Yeah, I think I need to sit the other way, man. You think you I'm need to sit at the other? video. I think I need to sit my camera on this side. You do? Oh, all right, you do what you want. No, I'm saying if you look at the video, it I'm trying try to pull it. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. All right, <laughs> victory. I'm never using the the the, uh, the dashboard like this ever again because it just <laughs> makes me mad. But what's going on, y'all? How are you guys doing tonight? I, my name, my my, my name is Zach Hill. You guys know me from IT Career Questions. I'm here with my guy, Mr. Duan Lightfoot, the legendary lab every day himself. Hey, What's Texan. good, YouTube? If you're watching this video, you successfully made it to layer seven of that OSI model, where we give you nothing but that application you can apply directly to your life. It's your host, Duan Lightfoot, and the one and only Zach Hill, my man. That's right. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? I'm uh, I'm posting this out on, on the, the LinkedIn and... The Twitterverse and and everywhere else. Me too, bro. Me too. The legendary. Yeah, yeah. It look better now, man. All right. See. If you look at it on YouTube, it look better now. Not, not everybody's gonna have feedback because you were playing that. They're gonna be freaking out. <laughs> All right. So today it was a very interesting interesting talk that we're gonna have. Um, you brought this this question up to me. And uh, it really struck me because I was like, this is something that I think people would be really interested in. And that is, if you started now, would you pay for a boot camp? Would you self-study or would you go to college? So if you started in IT right now, and you're, you're going to answer this one first because I'm the one hosting it. So if you were starting in IT right now, based off of what you know, would you pay for a boot camp, self-study, or would you go to college? Oh, man, right now. So... It depends. So there, there's multiple, I guess there's levels to everything in life. Uh, one of the things, like if I don't have any connection in IT, I don't know anything about IT, it'd be kind of hard to self-study if I don't know like exactly what I want to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I may log on to IT career questions on YouTube or live every day on YouTube, you know what I mean? And check out those two guys and get some great feedback. But at the same time, once I get a certification, then what? Like really navigating that will be kind of hard. And then trying to learn about computers would be tough. And if I go to a boot camp, how long is the boot camp and how much is it? Right. They're usually expensive. You know? Yeah, they're usually expensive. And if I go to college, I'll take some college courses. But honestly, most college courses don't do a good job about getting you hired. Right. You know what I mean? Then it's going to take years for you to get in the field. So for me, I think I would do a combination of self-study and maybe take a college course just to get some connections and that I won't focus on getting a degree. I'll try and pay out of pocket, you know, take a couple courses and network that way. That's how I would start. What about you, bro? I respect that. So here's something that I just kind of, I'm hearing about uh, today, really, um, which I just talked to you about, like me applying for a job um, for a place. I, I won't go into a lot of details about that, but supposedly they're looking for people who have degrees. Like that's right. that's one of their, their things that they're looking for. Even though they've worked at this place again, they're still looking for people who hold a degree, which I can respect that. However, I've already worked there. So anyway, I think there's many times where not having a degree can, it holds you back, right? And I'm not trying to say like, a degree is the best path. I'm not saying in any way whatsoever that any one of these paths are the absolute best because everybody, everybody does things differently anyway. Right. But I think for me, like, I think I would go back, I would get probably a degree quite honestly, even though like, and I, I sent you this or we talked to you about this article too, is, you know, there's 15 huge tech companies that no longer require a degree at all. We're talking like Google, Facebook, Amazon, like they don't even care that you have a degree or not. They just want somebody who has the skills. Unfortunately, like that's not how the rest of the world works just yet. And hopefully 
I, I, I think one day we're, we're, we're I think we're kind of getting there. And obviously with these big companies doing that, we're getting there <laughs> um, very clearly. But I, I still feel like there's going to be times where not having a degree, having a degree can hold you back from something specific and definitely RIP to Kobe. That was, that was crazy news, bro. I know. I know. Before we take it there, bro, you mentioned going to college, man. College takes so long. Like, I respect it. But you made me think about something. Now I, now that I had time to really think about the question, with the way the industry is going, I would code. So you don't really need to go to, I would say, um, you the means to entry to get in the field with coding is probably easier than starting de desktop support. You think so? I don't think so. I don't know, man. I feel I, like I think so. I, I, I feel you, you got a lot to prove when it comes to coding. So, I mean, I, I think with coding, yeah, you can self learn. And as long as you are applying those skills to something in real life that you can actually like show. Right. So like, it's kind of like what we both say, like, as long as you are creating a lab and documenting it and having, you know, all, all this verification, then yeah, I think it's definitely, that's true. Yeah. But let's say this though, with self-study, with YouTube and all the free resources online, um, Coursera, whatever, all these different online resources that you can learn to code, you can build your own portfolio, start making money by doing websites for local businesses or whatever, or start your own website like yep. immediately today. Yep. Yeah, you get what oh, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. and that's why I say for me the means to entry may be easier by coding than even desktop support because how do you prove yourself that you can install Windows or you know what I mean? How do you prove yourself on that platform? But as a developer, you just um, start posting code on GitHub, build some websites, and immediately you have your resume and your portfolio, so every the world can see. Yeah, see, but I think people who are looking to get in the help desk can do that same thing though. Like I, I feel like you don't have to get in front of the camera by any means, but you could be recording your screen and providing that documentation out on YouTube. Right. So you could even right. create like a GitHub that has all of your documentation in it. Right. And even has maybe some scripts that you've used to help install, you know, different operating systems or different applications within that operating system, but having that documentation and having some way to verify that you've actually done it by showing a video or, it just in general showing that documentation that you have, I think that could be, I think that is going to be extremely helpful for anybody looking to get into the IT side of things. Uh, and it definitely speaks to development for sure. But I think there's, there's two, it goes both ways with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 True story. Personally. True story. I don't know. That's just, I don't know. College. It was never for me, like quite honestly, Right. You know, and it might be the most difficult thing in the world for me to do if that were, if I had to go and do that, it would be really yeah. difficult at this point in my life. Um, but I feel like it would probably open up quite a few doors for me, you know, not, right. it's not, I'm not saying that going another route wouldn't open up doors, but we're talking different doors. You know, that's the thing. It's like, there's always different, a different door that you can walk into. Well, some require a degree and some don't. Um, and either way, like at the end of the day, like I'd still always self-study always. But one thing that, uh, we both completely neglected here was boot camps. So wh <laughs> why, why, uh, wh why wouldn't you go for a boot camp? I would go to a boot camp like now, you know, working on my CCIE, I'm going to a boot camp. Like if it's something really complex, I will go to a boot camp. But for something like the A plus, Heck no, I'm not paying somebody three thousand dollars for a boot camp, right. or is something entry level for me. I'm not going for a boot camp for something that I have no idea about because get, shoving this information down my neck for a week, I'm going to forget ninety percent of it in two weeks. True. You know what I mean? Yep. And I just spent all this money on this boot camp. Now, if my job is paying for it, cool. Or if I have some type of grant or some type of something, yep. but nah, nope. No, I feel you. I feel you. I I feel like the information that you get from it, it come, it goes as quickly as it came. Like, yeah, it's so difficult, right? It's just I feel like it's difficult. And you know, you're talking these boot camps. A lot of times are five, six, seven thousand plus dollars, right? For like four days. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of them that are a lot cheaper than that, but still, like, that's a lot of money. Yeah. You know, and I feel like it, with self self studying is obviously the cheapest route, no matter what, what way you look at it. You know, you could sign up for, you know, Plural Site or whatever for three months, and you're paying what maybe like fifty bucks a month or something, if that. So you're saying, let's say it costs a hundred dollars for three months. Like that's more than enough time typically to kind of get prepared enough to take a certification. Then you're talking that certification price, which is a couple hundred bucks, right? So, I mean, less than $500, you're going to get certified and you're going to have, you know, you'll have some of those skills and then you'll have that certification to back it up. Always the cheapest Um, route. Yeah, yeah. One thing about self-study, though, is like you really got to have discipline. Yeah, you do. It's it's probably, I would say it's probably, and maybe not the most difficult, but it's difficult, man. Some people can't do that. Some people have no self-discipline at all. And that, it can be real difficult to actually like say, all right, I'm going to sit down every single day for an hour and go, th- you know, go through this. That's hard, man. That's hard for people to do. And people, yeah. crooked glasses. Somebody, sorry. It's not the glasses that are crooked. It's my face that is crooked. <laughs> it's true. It's, one of my ears is lower than the other one. And every time I try to mess with my glasses, like it just gets even worse. Sounds sorry, good. y'all. My face is jacked. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying now. Now nah, we're talking about discipline for it. Yeah, um, dude, it's hard, man. So study, yeah, it's, it's really you, hard. you know, you've gone through like eighteen thousand different certifications at this point. I mean, I've gone yeah. through one, and having the discipline for, for that was that was trying, man. Yeah, it, it, it's it's super trying when you're working, you're balancing family, you're trying to like yourself, you know, doing business, trying to help people. Um, there's so many different things that you have on your plate. And then you got to say, you know what? I'm going to get this certification. That's, What's up, Derek Holloway? Thanks for the super chat, bro. Derek, if you got a question, you you, you ask it. Anytime the super yeah. chat comes in, answer that question right away. Hey, but while we talking about discipline, man, uh, we mentioned Kobe Bryant, RP. Yeah, man, that that's ma- jacked up. That Mamba mentality that he had, man, like, It, it's it's inspiring to see somebody that disciplined and work that hard to achieve their goals and impact so many people in 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 the field. You know what I mean? Because I see the work that he's done in the NBA and how people speak on how hard he worked. Like mm-hmm. that's how I would want to be remembered by right. the work I've done, because that's what people. It ain't necessarily about what he say or nothing. It's just about how he carried himself. And the impact he had, it's amazing, man. Yeah, he had a huge impact, man. He he, he seemed like, to me, like a pretty genuine guy. You know, I never knew, met him or anything like that, but, you know, like he, he had it together. So that that was, uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. RIP to him for sure. Yeah. I'm trying to have that type of focus, bro. Friend, thank you for the five dollar super chat. You rock, brother. No, you rock, brother. You <laughs> Shout rock. Shout out to friend and Derek Holloway, man. Derek Holloway says he says, uh, I self study. In my opinion, the reason a person would need a degree is to show all the non technical HR reps you can complete a course. I have associate in liberal arts. What do yeah. you think, man? Yeah, I think degrees got value. Yeah, I know that degrees definitely have value. Um, mm. I, you know, I, I'm more of the one, obviously, since I don't have a degree, like I don't. I don't throw too much weight on it either way, but at the end of the day, like I know it has value. I understand it has value. Yeah. Does, does it have value for me? Well, no, cause I don't have one, but if I did, like, I know it would be valuable to me. Does yeah. that mean, you know what I mean? Like just because you don't have one doesn't mean that you're any less valuable though. And like, I, I think that's important for people to know, like just because you don't have a degree or just because you don't have certifications doesn't mean that you're any less valuable. Right. Right. You right. know, true. It all depends on that, on what you're going for. Like, what's your, what's your mission in life? You know. Yeah, I think once you get in the field, for those of you that's not or just starting, like you really see what it takes once you get in this industry. You know what I mean? And you start working in an environment, you'll notice a lot of times your certifications won't matter mm-hmm. until it's time to talk about getting a raise or that promotion. Yeah. You it's, know, but. Yeah. It's funny how that works, bro. Like, it really is. Because how many times have you used, like, your certification? You know what I mean? Like, any of your certifications. 
because like I feel like you know the certifications track is so defined and so precise on exactly what it is that you you're being certified in, right? Right. Or it's just it's very uh, there's a better word here that I'm looking for, but like once you get out into the real world, like you could take that certification and throw it out the window because at that point, like things are so different. Right. Man, you can have a ton of people, like a bunch of people with like, let's say the CCNA or CCMP, they all got the same certifications, but they don't match up when it comes to skills. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> you all know that. what I mean? Like they do not match up. And it's I you you mentioned my certifications, but I don't even talk about them. I don't I show know, them. Don't. It's all about the work, bro. Like for me, my goal is to have this knowledge and be able to perform. And then share the knowledge that I have as well. You know what I mean? Yep. That, that's my goal. There's only one certification I want, period. And then after that, I'm retiring from them. That's it. That's, that's it. I'm done. I feel you, bro. Sorry, I'm looking through the chats. I, I'm a friend, if you have a, a question you want to ask, please throw it in the chat. And we got another super chat from Eduardo A. Polanco Murillo. <laughs> Joining a BC this March. Can you view the syllabus? What do you... What you mean, bro? What's the BC? Heart know. control? <laughs> uh, <laughs> might be. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, strap up. Yeah, that's right. Or else you have like four kids like we do. I know, right? <laughs> it's crazy, bro. That's, that should be its own live stream like, like right there. How do you get anything done when you got four kids? How do you lab every day when you got four kids? <sighs> Man. Bro, you're up late. That's what I know. Like that's what I know. Like you're up late. That's oh, how else do you do it, bro? You stay up late. You either or wake you, up early. Or wake up early. That's the only way you ever get anything done when you got kids. You gotta mm. make this if you wanna make the, that sacrifice, like if you if you're saying, like, all right, I got no time, right? I got no time to study. Right. Cause you got kids, you got you got a wife who nags you all day. Mine doesn't, thank God. Love you. I had to throw it out there for her. But anyway, you sacrifice sleep because there's nothing else you could sacrifice. Hey, you know what I did this week? What's up? So I think Wednesday, I worked till 9 o'clock at my job. I didn't leave my job till 9 o'clock. Dang. Thursday, I worked till about 9 o'clock. Didn't leave my job till about 9 o'clock. Got home, had to hop on a call. I was on that same call that I was on at my job. I didn't get off that call at 2 a.m. Woke up. I was going to go in, but it was like a snow day, so I had to log on at like 9. And I didn't get off work until like 5-something Friday. And so I was beat, bro. Like, I was beat down. So Saturday, I was like, yo, I can't take this out on my family, you know, and I know how I am when I'm tired. And I need to focus. So I went and did a sleep deprivation tank. You ever heard of that? No, no. Basically, it's like this tank and it's filled with water, about 11 inches of water and Epsom salt. All right. You get, it, you get in this tank and you just float for like an hour. That's, that sounds like some hippie shit right there. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> the way I felt when I got out of that tank. For real? Oh, my God. Like. <laughs> I felt like my I left my body and came back <laughs> and somebody God just said, you know what, I'm gonna give you new a new body and a new mind. Here you go. Get back to business. It sounds like you just smoked a bunch of reefer and took a bath, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me, but all right. I'll take your word for it. I mean, if I had it here, I'd try it. Hey man, I'm telling you, if anybody, if you can do a sleep deprivation, do it. Do all right. it. I'm gonna remember that, man. I got a uh, Julian Bueno five dollar super chat. Thank you. What's up? Thank you. He's shout saying out uh, shout out to Wes Bryan at IT Pro TV. Trying to get my A plus via IT Pro TV. Your thoughts? Well, considering IT Pro TV is like the the training provider for CompTIA's certification, I'd say you're on the right path. I mean, they are they are the the people. You know, the IT Pro TV is the official video training provider for CompTIA. Yo, what about what about um, Professor Messer? 
what about he didn't ask about Professor Messer? I ain't gotta say nothing about Professor Messer. Okay, I'm just saying his stuff is free on no, YouTube. Just, though. Professor Messer's uh, he's one of the best. I mean, he really is. As, as far as free goes, you yeah. can't beat that. That dude's yeah. like on point. I mean, I, there's been like thousands upon thousands of people who've watched his free material and passed CAPTIA certifications. And yeah. if you even join Certmaster Learn, like I know that some of the videos in their courses are Professor Messer videos. Yeah, that's why I was asking. I wasn't trying to oh, yeah, compete no, no, the two. I'm just saying he's free no. on YouTube. Yeah, no, yeah. I think I, IT Pro TV, they, they're they solid, man. Like, they do good work over there. I respect them. I respect them all day. Now, if they respected me, that'd be another story. So we won't get into that. Right. Yo, sensory. I said sleep deprivation. Sensory deprivation. My bad. Yeah, I said it wrong. My bad. Y'all know what I meant. They know what I meant. They got you. They got your they back. Professor yeah. who? Professor Messer on the YouTubes. I tried to, I, I reached out to that guy like three times, four times. Like, hey, bro, come on my channel, do an interview, and he won't do it. Yeah, he do his own thing, and that's cool. He does. I rock with that. I respect it, man. I even, I even had CompTIA reach out to him on behalf of me, and he's like, nope. I'm like, all right. Hey. Respect you, bro. Respect, that's man. Fine. Just got, he just going to grind it out. That's, <clears> hey, that's how, that's how I be feeling. Just grind it out. He's killing it, though. Yeah. Let me see. But, I mean, we talk, we uh we hit that topic that we wanted to hit, I and mean, we hit that pretty quickly though too. We did hit that topic, man. But you mentioned that you had another topic as well, though. I do. Did I forget yeah. about it? I think so. What one was it? Let me check back in the text messages. Yeah, let me see. Yo, shout out to everybody in the chat. If y'all have not liked and shared this out, please do. And if you got questions, let us, let us know. Yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to Dwan Lightfoot's YouTube channel, I think there's a link in the description. You should do that. We think. Well, it's cool, though. If you don't, we're just glad you're here rocking with us today. That's true. I love I love doing this stuff. What's up, PC Addict, you freaking jerk? <laughs> He's, He's from where you from? Yeah, he, I used to work with him at the hospital. Uh, that's what's up. Shout out to PC Addict. Yeah, I'm trying to find this, man, because you mentioned... What did I say? I don't even know. We, we talked about what our visions are. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun too. Oh, about the Security Plus and the CISA Plus being updated? Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Yep. Yep. We can talk about that. Let me, uh, let me see if I can pull this up. People want to know if you're still doing a, a meetup in KC, bro. Man, because because of my schedule and the snow, I had to postpone it. So yes, the meetup will happen. It's gonna be in February rather than in January. With all these snow days, it threw my whole stuff off, plus my job. So next month, it's coming. I will hit you with the details once I get everything lined up. It's coming. It's coming. You you heard it here first, y'all. It's coming. Yeah. I, w I would like to see if I can come down for that because that would be pretty legit. Yeah, you should. That would be legit. Zach in the building. You so, said the crib, bro. Nobody, nobody, Gosh, nobody cares about me. They care about you, I bro. Care. I care. Oh, thanks, bro. I care about you, too. That's what's up. I'm going to cover up. Uh, no. That one, not that one. I'm trying to pull up this. This article from Count Tia. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Just transition that right over. Look at that. Beautiful. Cybersecurity trends impacting careers and CompTIA certifications. Two CompTIA certifications, uh, cybersecurity certifications will be updated in 2020. CompTIA Security Plus in quarter four and CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst CISA Plus in quarter two. That's kind of, uh, that's good. Uh, so every three years, if you guys don't know, CompTIA refreshes their certifications. So, um, that's what, exactly what's happening here. There's going to be a new Security Plus towards the end of this year. I'm sure they probably have a date on it here somewhere. Um, and then in quarter two, which would be what? We're talking like spring and beginning of summer. They'll be refreshing the CISA Plus. Uh, you just got your Security Plus, what, your 401? So that was oh. you. Well, not just, but you got you got your four, the 401, right? 
Man, I thought I had like the 301. The 301? Oh, man, that's like... So that's like, what, over yeah. six years old? <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't renewed it. It'll be twice. It'll be renewing it twice this year. Well, didn't your Linux Plus renew it? No. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, what's Ain't up that with crazy? that? crazy? Man, what's up with that? What's up with that? Your Linux what's Plus should have renewed that. that. Ah. Now, play this. Play the song. What's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna. I'm gonna have to, uh, yell at Comtia for you, bro. What the heck? Man. Hey. So typically, though, like when you have a Comtia certification with A plus, not plus, Security plus, like I thought, like typically, if you say you have your A plus and it expires, right, you can go out and take like your CISA plus and it should renew your A plus. Maybe I'm a little bit, like you know, not 100 percent accurate on that. My Linux Plus renewed my A Plus. Your Linux Plus renewed your A Plus. There you go. Yeah, it renewed the A Plus, but it didn't do anything for my Security Plus. So that's bogus. Yeah. It oh, it is what it is. Shout out to Joseph Joseph Phillips. Thanks for everything you guys do for uh, us getting an IT. Much love, guys. Thank you. Appreciate Much that. love, Joseph. You got, you got a, a question? question? You got a question, Joseph? That's what's up. We're on it, bro. We're on it. Uh, I got to give a shout out to Planet One, who is a member of the IT Career Question channel. What's your thoughts on Test Out? I think Test Out does a pretty phenomenal job of what they do over there. I don't know if you've ever used Test Out, Mr. Lab, every day, but uh, they got some of the best uh, hands on labs I've ever seen. They really do. When I was in college, um, Test Out was a part of one of my courses. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I I think their labs are I mean spot on. I mean you can't beat it. I'm taking a look at the CISA stuff and the Security Plus still, but That's what's up. Not much to cover on that. Just that there there will be new ones this year. So if you guys are looking to um go for your Security Plus um and you're you're currently studying for your Security Plus, you're going to have quite some time until like the current one is out of date. That makes sense. Yeah. Same with the CISA yeah. Plus. Which one would you go for though? Which one would I go for? Yeah. Well, I just got my Security Plus like seven months ago. Okay. Would you go for what is the CISA? I don't know. I don't know. It's the what cybersecurity. I said it in here. It's the CompTIA cybersecurity analyst. Uh, the CY for cyber. And then. Uh, the S security and then analyst, I'm guessing. CISA. The CY, CYSA. I don't know what the, those crazy count T, T, uh, people call it. Call it yeah. whatever they want. But I would actually, I would probably go for that. If I, I, I would like to go for that even. Um, you should. You should I, just take it. Dude, we talked about this last time. I still got, I got this A plus voucher that I got to just take. Just randomly take. You should just take it. I should just there. take it. Gangster. I should. I wish I could bring my phone in with me and live stream the whole thing. That'd be legit. They won't let you do that, but you know. No, they won't let you do that. No. Um, yeah. I think for me, like, I don't know, man. We talked about this last time, I think, too. I don't want to tell anybody what my next certification is, though. Man, case is moving silence. I could tell I could tell you I have ideas on like taking different certifications, but yeah. you know what? Like nothing lines up with my current my current path right now. There's things I'd like to take just for me personally. Like, just, I personally want to achieve them. And that's all the Security Plus was for me, too. Because at this point, like, I'm I'm just this YouTuber guy, and I get to talk in front of a camera all day. What good's the certification going to do for me anyway? It's going to give me not. personal satisfaction and joy. Yeah, but you're a pretty cool YouTuber guy. You know how many people want to be Zach? Nobody. Like, Nobody wants to be me, bro. They just want to watch no. me. Wanna they want to. They want to know you, though. They want to know me. Know you. Everybody wants to know me. I don't know about that. Yeah. No. Yeah, everybody wants to know Zach. See, I'm like, I'm low key, like a total and complete a hole. <laughs> I was having this conversation with somebody the other day. I was like, everybody, like, you know, on YouTube's like, oh, thank you all the time. Like, you're the best. We appreciate you. And yeah. I'm like, I'm low key, like a total jerk. <laughs> They, they laughed at me too. They're like, you are, the, they're like, Zach, you are the biggest teddy bear I've ever met in my life. I was like, dang it. You're right. I know what you mean. It is the, the compliments and the over compliment is not, it's not, it's not cool. It's all good. 
Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. People, Yo. What's up? I'm trying to look at the no. chat and see what people are saying. What's up? I know. Somebody asked me, how did you get into networking? Mm. Uh, Zach, how did you get in IT? How did I get into IT? It fell yeah, into my you, lap. Ah, no, so no. you didn't have certification? You didn't have college or a boot camp? Uh, as far as like how I first got started in IT, nah, no, I didn't, I had nothing, bro. Zero. Man. That, that's, that's dope. Yeah. But see, like, here's like the story. Like I'll, I'll give you guys like the, the, the real story of Ander Holyfield right here, right now. When I was 15, I dropped out of high school because I was like depressed. I didn't want to do nothing. I didn't know what was going on. Like this is a real story guys. It's like no joke. Dropped out of high school when I was 15. I didn't do shit. I did I did nothing except for I taught myself HTML. Oh mm. snap. What's up Twin yeah. Twin City 612? Thank you for the super <laughs> chat. You got a question? You got like eight questions. I'll answer your questions. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Bro or sis, yeah. I don't know. Male Shout female. Out to Twin Cities. That's what's up. Dang. That's crazy. But anyway, yeah, so I I'm 15. I dropped out of school and uh we we ha- we got a computer. We got the internet. And I was like, man, I, a friend of mine was doing websites and he's like, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. You know, here's how you do it. And he like showed me, I was like, I can do this. I can yeah. do this. I went to like Barnes and Noble and bought the book HTML for dummies. Literally bought this book. It, this is like 1999 guys uh-huh. bought the book HTML for dummies, taught myself HTML, taught myself how to build websites. And then everybody like instantly assumed like, oh, Zach, you know how to do websites. You know everything about computers. I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that's not how this works but like me being the person that i was like i love helping people so i was like all right i'll give it a shot now yeah. keep in mind like we didn't have google back then like to the extent that it is today i was like alta vista and crap and asking jeeves like how you do this jeeves you know what i mean jeeves was gangster <laughs> jeeves was gangster he's og <laughs> jeeves jeeves is og <laughs> and uh yeah so from there like you know people would ask me how i, I did stuff or how, how to fix their computer and stuff you know what i mean like and it just like spiraled out of control after that and then like right. you know four years later i was like i hate doing websites i'll never touch code again for the rest of my life and uh i just started freelancing and stuff helping people yeah. with r- random crap and then nice. i got lucky with a job like like way early off um, that I was able to really utilize on my resume for experience. That was the biggest thing mm. is just getting the, getting the experience, man, just getting your foot in the door. Like I got, I got pretty lucky, but I also put in a lot of hard work. Like I had to teach myself, like back then it was difficult. That was not easy back then. So uh, I mean, it's okay. Cause years, information man. wasn't rel- readily available. Information wasn't like it is today. No, you don't. You didn't have Google. You didn't have YouTube back then, bro. I couldn't YouTube a dang thing. I know. Like, and what I did didn't, you have? Ask Jeeves. 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 That was it. A library. A library. Yeah, books, man. Like that's it. And I hate reading, so you can tell that yeah. was just terrible. But and no books used yeah. to be like this thing. Every book oh, yeah. that was something on IT was about this thing. Like back in the day, you couldn't buy. You could buy a book on Office Excel, and it's this thing. It's yep. crazy. It's terrible. But, uh, yeah, man, that's how I got started. Like, it is, I don't want to say like it fell into my lap because, like, I feel like I put in a lot of hard work to get to yeah. where I'm at. But, like, you know, it's been the experience for me. Like, that's the only thing, that's the only thing that I can be thankful for is that I got lucky enough to get experience early on that I could use on my resume. And that's why I push experience so hard. And I think so many people push it is because you cannot, you can't compete with experience. You really can't. Nope. I mean, the experience is king. It really is. Yeah, you blessed, man. You blessed. Yeah. How about you, man? How'd you get started? Man, Air Force. Once at the Air Force. Thank and you for your service. I got mad respect for you, bro. No doubt. No doubt. Um, I went in Air Force during Y two K, and my my AFSC was computer operator. So, like, my first job was on the help desk which was pretty cool. Uh, Windows NT, helping people unlocking, <laughs> un- unlocking accounts. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. Then I went to Desktop Support, started doing that, working on Windows NT, then did, did a Windows NT to 2000 migration. You know, um, NT was crazy because you didn't have like drivers 
you know what I mean? Like you plug in a, a USB keyboard and it's not gonna work. Yep. <laughs> you know what I nope. mean? Mm-hmm. You didn't have plug and play and stuff like that. And um, you had PDCs and BDC servers. Like yep. the way you didn't have Active Directory. So yeah, you, yeah, token ring networks and yeah, it was it was there. Bus networks at that. Yeah. Like bus networks was crazy. Like, yeah, it was different back then, bro. It was different back then. Yeah. I went cold today, though. I keep telling you that. Yeah, man. I know. You keep saying that, man. man. I don't I don't know if I could do it, man. Like, I know. I know, like, deep down in my heart and in, in, in everything in, in my being knows that, like, the best route probably is to go coding. Man. It really it is, man. Like, I think there's so much job security when it comes to that. I think there's so many opportunities when it comes to that. Man. And everybody, like, there's always coding jobs available. Always. Because yeah, it, ain't, it ain't easy. I'm saying, like, if you can't find a job coding, you can learn, like, I don't know, system administration and use your coding skills to be an even better system oh, yeah. administrator. For you sure. know what I mean? Like, coding just goes across the board. Well, that's the thing, like, in IT in general, bro, like, I think I feel like there's so much room for transition where you're not stuck, man. Even yeah. if you like set out, you're going to be like a, a network engineer and like five years down the road, you're like, man, this, I'm not cut out. This ain't for me. Like, it's so easy to transition to another, like another type of expertise from there, you know, cause you already got that experience and that's what all people care about. Right. So like when you're like, all right, I'm done being a network engineer, I'm going to go be a sysadmin or I'm going to be a developer. Well, you just put in a little bit of work to learn. A little bit about sysadmin, learn a little bit about development, and you're set. Like I feel like yeah. that's it's such an easy thing to do. Well, I mean, maybe not learning the stuff sometimes, but what's up, buddy? Yeah, what's not easy to learn this stuff? Period. Like, hey, what's up? What's up, little one? He, he's trying to come down here. He's like, I want to come down. That's my two year old. Uh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. He can come down and say hi if he wants. Uh, Twin City 612 says, Dwan took the time out to chop it up with me. Questions I had about IT certifications numerous times. You didn't have to do that, fam, but I could tell you genuinely wanted to help me out. Shout out to Dwan Lightfoot. You're a boss, bro. You are. You're a boss, man. This is what we uh, do. That's why we're doing it together. Just trying to help people. That's it. That's what it's all yeah. about. We Much have this conversation all the time. We just want to help people. Yeah. For sure. Says uh, Zach stays putting out IT content for us consist constantly, and anytime we ask questions, you answer for us or make a video for us. Yeah, we're just trying to help, man. There's no way I could answer all the questions, so it's so overwhelming. Yo, so somebody asked which routing protocol is useful in real life: OSPF or EIGRP? Both. It all depends on the network engineer and which protocol they're more comfortable with. Um, is there a better one? I mean... Which is your preferred? BGP. All right, why? Because it's it's a WAN protocol and knowing that will be more valuable in your career. There you go. You heard it here first, y'all. I mean, BGP is WAN. It's in a data center. It's in the lab. Um, some places you utilize it, you know what I mean? ACI, BGP is everywhere. So for me, focusing on BGP is the most. And e- EIGRP is pretty easy. It's not too complicated. And if you understand EIGRP, a lot of that with the address families will cross over to understanding how to configure BGP. Now BGP is a programmable um, routing protocol, so it gets way more in depth. And then you're also dealing with what TCP. So the way it operates is different than the normal routing protocol. So um, it's more like an application. You you can figure out how you want. So if you can really understand BGP, you can go a long way. So that's that. That's that. You heard it here first, Cal. You got it. Hey, so William Davis, and this is something that I feel like we should we should answer and talk about again, even though we, we already kind of touched on this. But he says, how do you get experience if nobody gives you the chance? I'm a, I'm going to show you how you get experience if nobody gives you the chance. <laughs> right there. 
Okay. Yeah, you silly man. That's it. That's all you need to know. Lab like every day. Out here. I was waiting for the opportunity to bust it out, bro. You have no idea. I've been waiting. Like, oh, there's the opportunity. Waiting for it all night. Um, opportunities. You know, sometimes it's hard to come by. Zach, you know this. I know this. That they're tough. Um, but sometimes when they don't come, you got to create them. And if you're waiting on somebody to give you opportunity and you're not putting yourself out there, then you're going to be waiting all day. So you're going to have to do something to, to be seen and for people to say, yo, I want to work with that guy or girl, or I want that person to come work in my business or to come configure my network or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts, bro? <laughs> Hey, it, it may sound crazy. Like somebody mentioned my CCNA um, video changed my life, right? I didn't become a network engineer. Like I was a CCNP doing system administration, got turned down for a ton of positions. I didn't really start getting opportunities till I put myself out on social media, yep. period. And then once I started doing that, I started making like packet tracer videos, started helping people. Then people start calling me back, bringing yep. me in, flying me to California. You know, like life just changed. Boss moves right there, buddy. Boss moves right there. It just changed. But it is, it's true, man. It's like, I, I don't just say like, I'm like, this is the truth. Like you, nobody's giving you experience. You make your own experience. Like that's what this is. Like you're building those skills on your own because nobody else has given you that chance. You're building those skills because you need those skills to advance. And you could do it all on your own. You don't need somebody to rely on for that experience. You don't need to rely on anybody but yourself. So go out. You don't have to pay a dime to lab every day. You don't. Like you Man. don't. Like you already got a computer. There's there's what packet tracer. There's what GNS three. What else? Cisco DevNet. Cisco DevNet. Anything. Look. Check this out. I'm gonna put something in the chat, and I'm not trying to plug myself. Or anything like that. Dude, you plug yourself all day. That's what this is for. But no, I just want people to see. So I wrote a blog post about this and I put 30 different labs that you can do right now on DevNet to learn pretty much everything you want to learn from Python to a routing and switching to BGP to whatever you pretty much want to learn. It's available in Cisco DevNet's platform, real hardware that's in a lab environment for free. Check this blog post out. I walk you through, I use this all the time for ACI and everything because I don't it's, I don't have ACI in the house, but right here at my fingertips, if I wanna learn Nexus, ACI, um, Kubernetes, whatever you wanna learn is on DevNet. Meraki, the, the list is crazy. SD-WAN is there. So if you all are trying to level up, that's where you go to, in my opinion. I'm showing everybody on the screen right now. Cool. Yeah, so the next thing is then, like, what people typically ask. Well, like, you lab every day. Cool. All right. How do you show people that you lab every day? You know, you brought up social media. But, you know, there's, there's the documentation, man. Like, there's the documentation piece. Like, go out and spend the, the 15 bucks or whatever it is to go get your own domain, right? Your own little dot .com. Throw up a website. Throw up some videos of you going over this stuff. Throw up a couple PDFs that document exactly what you've done. Throw that URL on your resume. And when you are listing your experiences or your skills, reference back to that. All, you know, I have skills in Active Directory and Exchange. All, and then, you know, say, check out this website. Check out that URL. Shows it all, right? Yeah. There's so many different ways that you can kind of like piece that all together and I'll go over that. Cause I'm, I'm actually working on a, um, an interview course right now and I'm going to nope. piece some of that into that. Um, nope. but yeah, like that's, that's how you show people you got the skills. That's how you show people you have experience and like yeah. people, I, I feel like they're afraid to do this because like they ask about, they, they ask the question, like how do I lab every day or how do I, how do I get this experience? And then you tell them. And then I feel like half the people don't follow through with it. Like they don't understand it. It's like, no, y'all, it's it's really easy. That's not hard. Man, it's 
Hey, bro, I'm going I'm to put this in the chat, too. So there's something called, I think it's Kata Code. Oh, Kata Kata. Kata, man, I'm going to put it in the chat. Kata Kata. The coronavirus? Are we talking about that now? No, nah, bro. So, like, if you want to learn Linux and you don't have VirtualBox or you don't have something, like, um, to be able to virtualize an environment, there's something called Kata Kata to where people spin up containers and teach like Docker, um, Kubernetes, Linux, Python. And these are free like courses with virtual environments that you just kind of step through. That's legit. You know what I'm saying? So right there, there is no excuse on why you can't lab every day. There, there really no is excuse. no excuse. There's no excuse. Every technology pretty much is on demand and pretty much for free somewhere on some platform. Mm -hmm. It's all, it's everything's at your fingertips nowadays. Like we didn't have any of this shit back in the day. I keep swearing. I'm sorry. Apologize yeah. for my filthy mouth, y'all. Sorry, YouTube sorry, algorithm. <laughs> Don't demonetize me because I said naughty words. <laughs> uh, somebody said, would you put your home lab on your resume? F yes. All day, every day. You, you would? Yeah, bro. Like I, I I'd, I'd mention something about it on your resume. Yep. But isn't your resume like professional experience? But see, there's the thing, right? Like, how are you supposed to land an entry level job that's like requiring experience when you got no real world experience? That's why you lab every day and you document that shit and you put it on your resume, so people could say, "Oh, all right," and they can go check it out and be like, "Oh, well, it looks like he knows how to do this." Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't know. I don't know. Like I think that's it is lab experience, but I don't know. I just but I you don't know, know how I feel about but, it. But you well, see, here's the thing: how many other people are doing that? Putting lab stuff on their resume? Probably not many, right? Yeah, not. I think I will bring it up in an interview. I mean, I would do both ways, man. I want I want them to check it out as soon as they can. Huh. Ellen. Because you know what? Like, that's how you get an advantage over somebody. Yeah. Elon, I, I remember. Oh, yeah, you did remember. Yeah. Elon said, I mentioned my home lab and my cover letter. That's a great idea, too. Do you use a cover letter, though? I use a cover letter every time I apply for a job. Every time. I never, I never use a cover letter. No? Nah. But I see the value in them. I'm just. I, think I mean, if you're if you're get, if you're getting referred to by somebody, like I, you know what I mean. Like I don't think I'd use a cover letter. Yeah. If somebody's like, "Hey, I I mentioned you for this job, apply for it or whatever," I'd be like, "All right, well, they already told them about me. I don't need to tell them any more about me. Here's my resume. There you go." Right, 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 right. But uh, yeah, man, I think it's important. I think it's crucial that you mention that you have a home lab because that's gonna set you one step above somebody else who doesn't. That yeah. shows that you put in that dedication and that work while you're at home to learn this stuff. That sets yeah. you above everybody. I think I think that yeah. puts you above so many people, man. I think another thing that matters is how you present yourself online as well. Oh, for um, sure, dude. Like oh, you're, I can't stress that one enough. Yeah, your LinkedIn needs to align with where you want to go. Like you may have political views, you may have social views, but in my opinion, keep like, it to yourself. If you're trying to get a job and you're not where you want to be, you got to kind of focus on getting to where you want to be. And then once you establish yourself, then you can voice your opinion. I mean, that's just my thoughts. You mean I can't have like pictures and videos of me and my friend smoking reefer together on my LinkedIn? Bro, like I, <laughs> I caught you off. Ah, that was perfect. <laughs> On point, right there. Hey, but wait a minute. You're applying. People do for that, bro. A dispensary. If you're applying for All a dispensary. Right. I, you know what? I don't know, man. Maybe <laughs> those people don't want want people who do, who participate in that working at their dispensary. You know mm. what I mean? Like I wouldn't want. I would. I would. I wouldn't want people who participate in that working at my dispensary because I know my shit would go missing. <laughs> it's truth bro come on Man, just looking funny. out just looking out but anyway <laughs> Man, you silly. i know i 
do what I can to be silly, I guess. What's up, Christian? What's popping, family? I, st- I still got this the super chat from uh, um, Twin Cities showing up here. It's, but that's yeah. up there a long time. Twin Cities, you still here, bro? I just oh, want to show you more love. Yeah. Uh, Julian uh, Bueno, make a video how to build an IT resume. Well, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I'm building. I'm currently building an IT course um, that's going to be job interview related. So uh, I'm not going to give away the title right now because I'm still working on that. But I think part of that probably should include something on building a resume. But ideally, like, I don't want to be that expert, right? Like, I want to find an expert, a resume expert that can come in and shine some light on that. Because, you know, there's a lot of people out there who, who have a lot of expertise in resume writing and building and things like that. Yeah. I think it's best to have somebody like that come up, you know? For sure. True story. True story. Hey, and, and that shows a lot about what you're trying to build. Like you're trying to put out the best co- content to help people. So that speaks yeah. a lot about what you're trying to do and who you are. Yeah, I've, I've said it many so times. Who? I'm not an expert in everything. That's why I bring on the experts like you. What am I expert in, though? Everything. Expert at uh, life. Life. Expert at being my yeah. best friend. Hey, that sensory, I'm telling you, the sensory deprivation tank. Bro. All right. Bro. I, if I find one, I'm going to do it. <laughs> You come to KC, I got you. All right. All right. Oh, here we go. Chris Howitt. I got to give a shout out to Chris Howitt. Chris Howitt is my guy. Like, this dude reached out to me like two years ago. And he had he had like this really awesome IT position. Sorry, Chris Howitt. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, he's like, hey, bro, I love what you're doing. He just wanted to chat with me. And I talked to this guy. We call, he, he, I called him up on the phone. We chatted for a while. And then I met him at Black Hat at Vegas mm-hmm. um, in 2018. Teen would have been and then i met him at rsa this past year and then okay. i met him again at black hat this past year so I've, I've hung out with this dude a few times and he's like just a knowledge it, just information i love this guy yeah. so helpful such a nice guy i want to give a shout out to him but he said secret i used fiverr to optimize my resume fiverr is legit i use fiverr yes. for so much i've never thought of that bro Yep. I've never thought of that. That's a good one right there. That is a good one. Five yeah, you can, five dollars. Five dollar holler. The five dollar holler. Five dollar holler. <laughs> uh-huh. That's why I say that all the time. <laughs> Man. I I should uh I should look into the five dollar resumes on I'm sure some of them are probably more, but I should look into Fiverr. Maybe we could do throw something together with that in a video. Yeah. Five dollar resumes dot com. Is that is that out there? I'm sure yeah. it is. Let's yeah. look on GoDaddy. Somebody probably already bought it right now. Man, that'd be quick. Five dollar resumes. I'm checking. What's up, everybody in the chat? It's Sunday night, y'all. We got 104 people watching us right now on this beautiful Sunday night. Hey, it's actually online. Five dollar resumes dot com is available. Is it really? <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You know, you know what we could do? We could buy that and then we could just hire people on LinkedIn or on Fiverr. Right. Hey. But less. That's a we business gotta, model. We, yeah, no, we gotta we gotta figure out how we make that cut work. We'll do it though. We, we got you guys. Man. You're you're buying that domain right now. You're like, all right, let me log into my GoDaddy account right yeah. here and buy this. I'm already logged in. So, yeah, see, he's buying it right now. He's on it. it. Right now. <sighs> Wait, hold up. I got to get you a coupon, bro. <laughs> got to get you a coupon. Go, daddy. Man, I'm not buying it. Coupon. <laughs> hey, somebody said $4. <laughs> Resume is not good. Yep. Chris Al, what's up, bro? <laughs> Greetings from San Diego. Greetings from Illinois. Greetings from KC. That's what's up. Shout out to All right. San Diego. You and I have talked about... Have we've How long have we been talking to each other, bro? Like three years now? Long yeah, time. It's been about three, man. Yeah. We keep saying we need to get together, but we really do need to like actually get together in person, do a couple videos. I've tried, bro. You just got to give me the word. I told you before, bro. Come anytime, bro. Just just come. I'm going to pop up. I'm That's gonna fine. I'm going to your door. Zach, what's good? Door will be wide open for you, bro. Man, I got the routers and the switches. Let's get it. All right, let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get this. Let's get it. KC. Oh, you got people representing from KC. KC here, in right? the building, bro. That's right. We're going to do this meetup next month. It's going to go down, too. It's going to go down. New York. Greetings Anywhere? from the, the boot, South Louisiana. 
Louisiana. Hey, you know what? I usually do something in my live stream. You mind if I do it here real quick? Bro, you this is your live stream. It ain't mine. You're all good. Oh, uh, whatever. All right. Hey y'all. So right now, I need everybody to put your error code in the chat. Right now, error code in the chat. Right now, where you from? We're about to do these shout outs. Let me see where you at. We're gonna see if it if they start putting it in there. Let's see. Let's see. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm like three hours from Milwaukee. Two and a half hours from Milwaukee. Uh, Deborah is from Misery. Well, that's because the chat's on leg. Zach, we can't see you. Oh, my bad. There you go. I fixed it. Niners going to win an NFL fake. Who's going to win the Super Bowl, bro? Who you got? 619. Um... I got Niners. <laughs> you got the Niners? Bro. I got the Niners. <laughs> what? What's up with that? <laughs> I like to mess with people. You know, I'm not from KC. Yeah, I know. Like, Dang, look at all them. I know. Now, now we got to do the shout out. What? Who? I was talking crap about you? What are you talking about? 909 in the building. Five seven three. That was that Columbia. Shout out to Columbia, Missouri. Columbia. I don't want Memphis. Nine oh four. Seven. Where's seven one eight? I feel like seven one eight is doing like Texas or something. Seven one eight. That sounds familiar. I don't know. Seven one eight. One eight four three three. Where are you from? New York City is seven one eight. New York City. New York City. You know that commercial? Yeah. It's yeah. A, that, the, the, the Tabasco salsa or whatever. Oh, yeah. The salsa? Yeah, the salsa. Yeah. Salsa. Yeah. Uh, 225. 816. 806. 414. 704. Memphis. Doesn't, uh, doesn't, um, oh, God. What's his, what's his name? He has a song about this. Ludicrous, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, come on, bro. <laughs> uh, God. God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, that's like a throwback right there. That, that jam. is, bro. Courtney was all about that. She's upstairs. She's probably singing it now. <laughs> 904, Lil Duval Town. I see you. Houston. All right, man. Let's get some more questions before we up out of here. Man. Oh yeah, we're we're hitting that one hour mark, aren't we? All right, yeah. you got. We'll answer a couple questions. You guys got them, and then we're piecing. We doing this again next week? We're we gonna try to do this again every week. Next week. I was sick, week. man. I was sick the other week. I apologize. I was dying. It's all good. I'm and still I sick. I, like... I, I'm still yeah. sick because I keep throwing up my mic because I keep coughing my my lungs out. Man. I didn't want to go live without you. I was you like, could have done it, bro. You I got this. Shut up, man. Shut up. People yeah. want to see you, man. They want to hear from you. I know. I know. Oh, uh, that's why I'm here, though. That's why I'm here. Larry Shervington Jr. What's up, boss? Got to give you a shout out. Shout out to the members of the shout YouTube channel. Larry. That's what's up, man. The members, members is what's up. Shout that is what's Larry. up. Yeah. Which one should I get next? Security Plus or AWS? Well, All of them. Every certification uh, you can think of. Start now. That's right. I can, yeah. <laughs> Which one, though, bro? Which what one? What you think? Uh, I don't know what, what path it is that they're looking to take. So, Yeah. Uh, it's, I, I, I don't I don't mean offense to this, right? When I say this, but like I hate when I get those type of questions because like I don't know what your path is, man. I don't know what your what your goals are. Yeah. Give me some info about you. Do you have to have a beard to be in IT? Hey. Hey. That was a question, bro. I said, do we have to have a beard to be in IT? And Larry no. Larry says, need some beard game tips, fellas. You don't need a beard to be in IT. There's a whole bunch of women in IT. That's right. What if the yeah. women have beards, though, bro? Come on, don't discriminate. Don't hate. They can, they can have beards, too. No, no, I'm saying there's a whole bunch of women. I'm kidding, they're in IT, bro. so they don't I'm have beards. Kidding. <laughs> kidding, bro. Somebody says beards are 2019, bro. Time to clean it up. 
did I look like a baby without a beard? And I got like this terrible double chin because I'm so fat. So it's like my you, double chin guard. You know who says that? Hmm. People who can't a person grow a beard. without a beard. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I, I will never shave this luxurious beast right here. Or or my hair on my head. My hair on my head's getting real long. For real? Yeah, here. Hold oh up. man. Look at Man, you like a rock star right now, bro. It's like super long now, man. It's oh, like it's a all thing. caught. Tangled. It's like a thing right now. Just do the rest of the stream <laughs> like that. <laughs> the Wayne's you... World. Party time. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> there we go. Now we're rocking. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, I've got to gotta shed some light on this. This is the longest my hair's ever been in my life, right? <sighs> And I got to wait till it gets down to about here because I'm cutting it all off and donating it. That's something I've always wanted to do my entire life was grow my hair out long and donate it to, you know, like cancer patients and stuff like that. So that's the whole reason what's up with the hair. Otherwise, it drives me insane. That's dope, bro. Yeah, I got it. You should make that a thing, though. I should. I should do something with that, right? Yeah, you should make that a thing. I might do that with my beard. I'm gonna grow it like down here and then donate it to people that don't have beards. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Dude, my brother's beard, no joke, is like down like to like the bottom of his gut. His beard is long as hell. I wonder what's in that beard. Yeah, right. How much food how much food you got in there, bro? Uh, somebody says, Oh damn, Zach's hair, a whole different person. That's right. Whole whole different person with the beard. Or with the with the hair, I mean. Yeah. There you go. That's what's up. Looking like a, a scrub. Courtney's like, I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy I can't get. You got me. Let's see. Is he going man bun? Yeah, it's usually up in a man bun or under my hat. <laughs> I'll put it away and stop scaring you guys. <laughs> How do you donate hair? You, uh, you cut it off and you throw it in a bag and send it off to the place. I don't know. I really don't know the process. But, uh, yeah, you, you cut it off and then you send it off to wherever. And then they turn your hair into wigs for people who don't have hair. Hmm. Please no man buns, man. I love my man bun. I don't care about, I don't care. You know what? I don't care what people think about me. That's the thing. So many people care about what other people think about them. Everybody's judging everybody all the time. I can honestly tell you, I could care less what people think about me. You want to talk crap about my man bun? Talk crap about my man bun all day. I don't care. Right. You limit who you like are if you worry about what people to think about you. You know what I mean? That's... Yeah, I'm not living for anybody else. I'm living for me. True story. Uh, Larry Shervington Jr., opinion on val opinion on value of attending a live conference like RSA, especially for someone starting out with little to no experience. The networking that you can do there, provided you are a person that can actually go up and talk to people, will be outstanding. Uh, there's a lot of information that you can learn from being there, especially like there's their sessions and things that they have. I think it's extremely valuable. Um, but RSA specifically, probably not. RSA is more like industry like it's not i don't think rsa is as personable to somebody who's just starting out hmm. i think going to meetups and conferences is valuable in networking like zach said i really do uh, and like going to different meetups in your area allows you to connect with people that are already in the field you know what i mean like if you're trying to, let's say, become a developer or if you're trying to get into networking, going or even assist admin, going to like a Windows group, meetup group would be valuable to not only connect with people that are already in the field, but find out how they're learning the knowledge that they have, what skills are they they're using, tools they're using to learn this information, as well as the, the technology they're actually utilizing in the field because if you're in the field now you have an inside track on what you need to learn in order to get a job from these people's in the, these people that are in these meetups for meetups. sure for sure hey trust the process said that uh that 
you had a man bun in 2014. They remember that. You had a man bun, bro? When did I have a man bun? What the hell? Who are you following? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. In 2014, how do you know me in 2014? Like, I wasn't even on YouTube in 2014. That's funny. That's funny. Shout out for DEF CON, lots of talking villages for those wanting to start InfoSec. B sides. Yeah, that's what's up. B sides, DEF CON. Those are all more low key. That's funny. All right. I think we uh I think we hit the nail on the head here with this one. I think we answered a lot of questions. Maybe not a lot, but enough. Yeah. I, mean, I gotta go eat some dinner. Me too. Go chill with the family. Me Everybody's too. got school tomorrow. You got no work snow tomorrow. Days. No snow I days. Mean, you know I got work, bro. I know. I know. Yeah. I got work too. Yeah. Yo, before we out of here, y'all hit the hit them likes. The thumbs up, y'all. Next week. Appreciate it. Next week. Next week. Same time. Same place. Or we could do it on your channel too. We do it wherever. No. Same like, no. bat time. Same bat channel. That's right. <laughs> Feel that hundred percent. That was that was uh, spot on. Same bad time, same bad channel. You guys heard it. All right. Thank you guys for joining the live stream tonight, talking with us. Hey, here's one. In the comments, not right now. You're going to have to come back and comment on the video itself. Or hit me up on LinkedIn. Hit me up somewhere. What do you guys want to see us do? What do you guys want to see us talk about? Right? Let's do, let's do what they want us to do. Like, they want us to dress up as clowns and talk about IT? Like, we could do that. Right? Oh, weren't we going to do, like, the ASMR stuff? Hello. (laughs) 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 Yo, R.I.P. Kobe. We got it. Yep, R.I.P. Kobe. For sure, bro. All right, guys. Uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next Sunday, whatever that date may be, it is the, what, the, the 2nd, February 2nd. What? Groundhog Day, ain't it? How is it already February, bro? Um, um, whatever. I'm out. You guys, t- oh, can I include my Fiverr? Yeah, include your Fiverr. You just threw me $10. Can I include your, my Fiverr? Go ahead, Jasmine Burroughs. What does Jasmine Burroughs do? She might do resumes, bro. That yeah. might be the person you're looking for. Yeah, if you do resumes, you need to hit me up. Here, Zach at itcareerquestions.com. If you want to include your Fiverr, it's not going to let you actually link it, but if you kind of, like, tell me what the 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 subdomain is, I can link it. We can hey, do bro. It. So. Here's an idea next week. All right. Let's, let's talk about interview questions and interviews, like our experiences, and give tips on interviews next week. All right. Interview and each other. And wear suits. Wear suits? No, suits. All right, I'll bust out my suit. You I'll gotta, bust out a suit too. You, you got to remind me. I'll totally wear a suit. A suit. Yeah. I dare you. Somebody dared you to wear a suit. I'm wearing a I'll suit. I'll wear a suit. No, it's fine. I got suits. I got yeah. one suit. That's it. We'll wear it. I'll have this on huh? underneath so I can bust it out like Superman legit. Will your course be done? Oh, heck no. I was going to say, if your course is done, we can go ahead and plug your Mm-mm. course. Do you no. want to wait on that one? Uh, No, it's fine. I'll... Uh, right. I got I got a lot of work to do on that still. Like I want it to be good. I want it to. I gotta I gotta up myself from my last course. Cool. Yeah, we'll cool. do it. Jasmine Next Burrows, week. hit me up. We'll, we'll, I'll get your Fiverr linked if you want. Anyway, that's it. That's all we got for this live stream. Thank you guys for joining. Have a great week. Take it easy. Lab every day. Peace. Lab every day. Say it, Duan. Lab every day. Lab. Every